In 2018, Kusala Rajendran was honoured with India's first ever national award for women scientists for ocean sciences and technology and atmospheric sciences technology. Most things that we know about earthquakes in India, that is from their history, cause, origin and repercussions, can be credited to the extensive repertoire of Kusala Rajendran's work. Let's find out more about this outstanding scientist and seismologist in this episode of Not For Women Only with me, Sunita Ayer. Although Kusala was born in a conservative family, she was encouraged to pursue her career in a field where she was the only woman back in the day. Hence, it came as no surprise when the renowned seismologist dedicated her national award to women across the country who achieved their goals despite the odds. Kusala completed her Masters of Technology in Applied Geophysics from the Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. Believe it or not, in a class of only six students who took up geophysics, Kusala was the only woman. A postgraduate of the 1979 batch, Kusala revealed in an interview that gender discrepancy back then led to isolation. She further added that a lot of women quit the field of earth sciences because they were looked down upon when they travelled with men who were not their husbands. In 1987, Kusala left for the United States to pursue a PhD in seismology from the University of South Carolina. She returned to India in 1993, following which she worked with the National Centre for Earth Sciences Studies until 2007. Later, she joined the Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru as an associate professor. Kusala, along with her husband, renowned geologist C.P. Rajendran, have worked on several projects together, including studying the deadly 1993 Latur earthquake that claimed thousands of lives. One outstanding instance in her career was that of the 2004 tsunami, when the husband-wife duo travelled to Kaveri Patnam in Tamil Nadu to study past tsunamis. Due to the lack of written records, they did not have any idea if there had been an earthquake there in the past. They dug up a trench to find the deposit layer of ancient soil all the way from the ocean floor. They later found archaeological evidence of pottery in the same layer. The 2004 tsunami was dated back to a similar event thousand years ago. In 1993, Kusala was awarded the Krishnan Gold Medal by the Indian Geophysical Union for her work in geophysics. She also received the Tabur Award in 1992 from the Department of Geological Sciences, University of South Carolina. In her own words, Kusala says that research on seismology in India is now on par with the international standards. But she maintains that India needs to help its students focus on knowledge and learning rather than acquiring mere grades. Well, friends, aren't you absolutely proud of Kusala Rajendran's contribution? Do share your thoughts with me on the comment box below. Till the next time, keep watching more such videos only on My Nation.